Alrighty. So we will just start with it. Thank you for confirming everyone. Thank you for confirming that you all belong to Isles. And we will have questions one by one. We will start from section one and I will be asking section one questions from everyone so that you get an exposure to what you're supposed to do, right? And then we will move to the cue cards, which is section two. And furthermore, the follow-up questions with section three. Okay, I hope that makes sense to everyone. Yeah. Any questions before we start? Teacher, could you turn your, um, let me see, your picture? Yep. So my, are you want, want you to see me? Yeah, you yeah. can. Hello. Hi, guys. Okay. It is, just give me one second. Let me go back because I'm sitting here. Let me make myself comfortable and then I'll turn on my camera. Beautiful. All right, so we have Elena who's coming to see us. Good on you. All right, so we will start with, let's start with Andrea and I'll ask section one questions to you. All right, Andrea, would that All be right. okay with you? Yeah. Okay, so Andrea, what is your full name? My full name is Andrea Anders Torres. Okay, and do you work? No, I'm a housewife. All right. So do you study or do anything else? I'm studying English now. I'm also, I take care of my kids. I have two kids. And okay. also in the home. All right. Well done. Can you tell me something about your hometown? Where was your hometown? Um, I'm from Chile. Chile is located in the South America. Um, my town home is a um, very... Um, long country mm -hmm. so you can find different weathers there in the north there is the desert at the south you can find mountains and Antarctica so it's a very nice place to know in every season because you can find different um, um weathers as i said before okay uh do you like your hometown and what is the best thing about it um one of the most uh Things that I love of my country is the seafood mm -hmm. because we have a, a big coast and different kind of seafood that you cannot find in, in other countries. All right. And what is the thing that you would like to change in your hometown? Maybe I, I will change some social uh, issues we have fronting now, like um, this equality of uh, men and women, and also maybe to improve some work working conditions from, from employees, something like that. Oh, okay. So can you just tell me an example of what is bad happening to the employees in your hometown? Like you just said that you want to improve their working conditions. So what is the specific change? Salaries are very loud. They are loud. So um, we have a lot of migration. Um, Chilean employers are tend to contract some abroad people because they are cheaper and it's not fair for them and also for our for for Chilean also. Mm -hmm. well done well done okay yeah. so Andrea it was a good one good attempt so you answered mostly all the questions that I asked you okay and you were quite specific let's talk about the first question when I talked about hometown I would really expect you to speak more about hometown than speaking about Chile so you right. sp spoke more about country so you said yeah. it's long it has a lot of weather and all that stuff uh, a lot of different types of weathers so be more specific Okay. okay. And then when you talk about the salaries, uh, you had some grammatical errors here and there. So, for example, when you talk about salaries, you say uh, the salaries of the employees 
is quite lowered. So lowered is a past tense. So it, is, it should not be lowered. So you could say the employees are paid less or the, uh -huh. the salary of the employees is quite less or low, okay, as compared uh -huh. to. So when you say low, there has uh -huh. to be a comparison between... Uh, just give me one second. Let me admit. There has to be a comparison between uh, low as compared to what? Okay, so you just cannot say that it is low. Okay, low compared to uh, what? Yeah. All right, I hope that makes sense to you now. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Okay, so good one. Well tried. Very well done. Okay, so I would say it was a good attempt and you elaborated most of the things. Uh, guys, I would highly recommend everyone should prepare a few things. For example, their home hometown, a person that they love, the person that they don't like so much, because these are the things that you can put anywhere. So for example, if somebody asks you, instead of your hometown, somebody asks you or the examiner asks you, which is your favorite town or which is your favorite country or uh, something, uh, a town that you would love to visit. So the same answers, you can just put in those questions so transferability should be there so it is not only for andrea it's for every one of you but very well done andrea very good efforts thank you okay so regina can we start with you now yes okay thank you so guys we will try to listen when everyone is talking why because this gives us an exposure and some ideas also make sure you have something to write or something to take notes Okay, because I really want you to write something while somebody else is speaking so that you know that these are the things that you need to take care. And even when I'm giving you some tips after we have a talk. Okay, I hope that makes sense to everyone. Okay, Regina, let's talk about just one second. Yep. All right. Regina, uh, can you tell me, are you good at art? Um, I've, I've never learned, learned uh, about art, like uh, drawing. Um, but uh, sometimes I will learn to the, uh, like the YouTube and how to draw a picture. Okay. Like, Okay, so if you don't like art, what do you think can be classified as your hobby? Sorry? <laughs> if you don't like art, what do you think can be classified as your hobby? So basically what you like to do in your free time? Um, I, like, uh, I like cooking. And uh, um, I, have, um, I have more patience to prepare some food yeah especially a uh, festival uh, in china uh, each festival has uh, each food uh, yes so um, so uh, i usually uh, take take one night to just in the kitchen to prepare food okay. Well done, well done. So what hobbies, apart from cooking, are popular in your country? Um, like dumplings and some and noodles like that. Um, uh, and the mooncakes. Yes. Okay. Think, yeah. All right. Why do you think people have hobbies? Mm. Mm. Why, pe why people like hobbies? Why they have hobbies or why they have something to do in their free time, some activity to do in their free time. Yes, uh, because ho I think hobbies is very important. Uh, if you have stress uh, in the work or study, you can use your uh free time to do your hobby to uh to lower your less your stress mm -hmm. and okay. you uh, can change focus yeah 
So do you often cook when you're stressed? Uh, usually. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Yeah. All right, all right. Well done. Okay, so Rajana, good efforts, first of all. Very well done. Um, first thing, you need to take care. You can tell examiner to repeat the questions if you don't understand, completely fine. Examiner won't be, but that should not happen often, okay? Try to understand the questions. I'm, I, I think I am understandable to you. Am I too fast? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm too fast. I speak too fast. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'll just take care that I don't speak too fast. Okay. Now, first thing you need to take care is examiners have their own pace of speaking. So if, suppose you can have an examiner who talks like me. Okay, so you'll have to be prepared for that. Number one, uh, this was the thing that you need to take care. Try to understand the questions because I asked you a question, what other hobbies people of your country like to have? So instead of saying the hobbies, what you said was they like to, uh, you know, uh, you tr uh, tried naming some food items. Like you said, noodles, dumplings, mooncakes. Those were not hobbies. Those were food items. Okay, I totally understand. It came from not understanding the question but we should try to understand the question at its maximum, okay? Then after that, um, you take a lot of pauses, which should not be the case. Try to speak in a flow, try to have or organize your ideas. So guys, for everyone, how what is the best way to answer the question? Very first thing, of course, the person will ask you a question. So for example, I'm asking, what is your hobby? Okay, so very first thing, your sentence should not start, my hobby is. No, okay. Try to have, there are, try to create a background for it. Just say, just say, I like to do a lot of things, but one of the things that is my hobby or one of the things I love doing during my free time is, okay, cooking. Okay, so for example, in your case. So try to have a background for whatever hobby or whatever uh, question you're doing. So very first thing, make sure that your any question should have an introduction, then elaborate on it and then conclude it, okay? So try to understand that thing. So I'm just writing these things in the chat. Number one, make sure you have introduction. If, I say, if I say there are a lot of things, I mm -hmm. like to do uh my uh one of my uh hobby which is cooking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that good yes that's good that's completely fine that's that's rather better than saying just oh my hobby is okay so just try to understand this thing examiner is uh see examiner is not interested what you like and what you don't like examiner is interested how you tell me what you like or what you don't like Okay, because it is an English exam, not exam of your personality. Are yeah. you getting me? Okay, so I, I didn't say that you didn't do well. You did it very, very well. But here I am to refine whatever you need to do better. Okay, yeah. I hope that uh, you, it is understood positively. Okay, so try to give introduction. It is for everyone, not only for Regina, it's for everyone. So one is introduction to the question. Once you have done an introduction or, and also introduction should be paraphrasing. So please do not use the same words. Okay, so rephrase the question. Rephrase the question. So your question, if it is, uh, what is your hobby? It should not be, my hobby is. it. It Not all the times, but yes, sometimes you can, but not all the times. It should be, I like to do a lot of, so having a little introduction, then explaining it, okay? And then afterwards, giving a concluding statement. So you can just say or conclude it with it. So because... For example, if I'm talking about my hobby is cooking, so I would say because cooking gives me pleasure or de-stresses me or takes my stress away, that is the reason why I like to cook the most, okay? So examiner is quite clear that, yes, this person likes to cook and he she has explained very well to me, but excellent and try to understand the questions more rapidly. Rest, everything was good. Don't take pauses. Well done. Okay. 
let's have a talk with Elena. Elena, are you there? Yes, hello. Well hello, Thank how you. are you? Good, good. Thank you, how are you? I'm good as well, darling. Okay, let's start, okay, with, uh, with section mm -hmm. one, all right? So, Elena, how often do you go online? Um, so, uh, I go online uh, quite often because uh, I'm working uh, with um, clients right now online in the tourist industry and the borders are closed. So basically all questions uh, be discussed uh, using internet. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I do have my own computer. It is laptop. So I carry it all the time in mm -hmm. my car. Okay, so it is portable to you. Well done. Yes. I <laughs> which are the websites that you like to explore and which one is your favorite? Well, there are lots of websites I check uh, regularly, uh, but as I uh, like to read news, the most uh, common websites for me are uh, those that um, expressing what's uh, going on in the world. So uh, I like to watch uh, BBC News as for example. Okay, well done. Um, do you have kids? Um, no, uh, I'm not, don't, don't have kids yet. <laughs> okay, okay. And do you think children these days are using a lot of internet? Yes, uh, I think so. And I believe it has changed uh, very progressively in past few years. Uh, there are lots of positive and negative aspects, but yeah, I believe parents have to control it more carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which is the most recent trend that you have seen amongst children regarding internet? For example, uh, lots of children are uh, using phones uh, to watch cartoons uh, when they're uh, during their parents doing some homework or uh, they are busy with other stuff. So uh, yes, it, it, it is very uh, good thing to uh, in, entertain children because uh, before our parents didn't have such possibility but uh, there are different kind of cartoons. So uh, it's good to, uh, to check first what children are watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very well done. Okay, so Elena, when you started, you were not that confident and I can sense that, okay? So because you didn't elaborate it. Uh, I do, do you agree to that? Yes, yes. Okay, so I, you were I a little, feel a little afraid. bit nervous always yes. when I talk yes. in front of computer. I don't know why. <laughs> definitely, definitely. It can happen. I completely agree to that. Um, so just make sure that before you go to speaking, you talk a little to yourself, okay, so uh -huh. that you don't get nervous when you're talking to someone, okay? Uh, okay. Because that first part, if you're nervous, uh, that can be you know, it wouldn't be so bad, but, you know, it can make you lose your confidence for the entire segment, okay? And this is something we don't want. So just have a little talk to yourself or maybe pr uh, practice one to two questions, uh, introduction questions. And I think that would really, really help you. Afterwards, uh, you just elaborated the question, like last second questions, you elaborated very, very well. Last question was also okay, but uh, last second question was really good. Now, another thing that I would really like you to do is add some vocabulary into whatever you say. So for example, instead of saying that I carry the computer anywhere, everywhere, you should say it is more portable. Okay, so such okay. words, it will give you more marks. So try to add a higher range of vocabulary for you to get, it will help you to get more scores, better scores, I would say. Also, try to add complex sentences into your speaking. So for example, instead of just saying that I like to do this, 
you could say i like to do this and this as well as this is my passion so something like that okay so try to add a little complex sentences but let's do one thing at the moment which is try to add a little vocabulary and then we will work on the complex sentences okay okay, okay. Thank but you. very well done good efforts mm -hmm. thank you well done okay kritika can we start with you yep all right dear okay so let me try okay so kritika tell me do you like music uh, yes i like music uh, because it relieves us from the stress and day to day hectic life Okay, what is your favorite type of music? Uh, my favorite type of music is classical music because the tunes of the music is really soft and when you free in my when I free in my layer time it really relaxes me. Mhm. Mm Can you sing? Uh in my childhood I used to sing a bit but uh but after like grown up so i just stopped singing uh did you learn to sing at school uh yes because in my school in uh, in my secondary school uh, there are a special classes for uh, the uh, the children who want to learn music so i also like eagerly want to learn the music and uh, moreover my friends are also engaged in that activity so it make me more like to think to learn the music mm -hmm. well done so kritika if today you get a chance to learn a musical item or instrument what musical instrument it would be in today's world if i got a chance i will le learn guitar because it is more in trend and uh, moreover like uh people like to listen guitar in these days and it's more in trend okay and why do you think you like to learn guitar just because people like it or it's in trend or and you it's just... my like passion to learn guitar because i never got a chance to uh, play a guitar so when you were kid you couldn't learn it learn it okay all right so good efforts kritika um i would suggest you a little on your grammar so we need to work on the grammar the grammar specifically i would like you to work on your tenses okay mm -hmm. so your past tense your present tense and your future tense uh which is a very good thing that you added something like uh in my school this thing happened so instead of happened or instead of say uh saying that uh there was a music room where students learned the music you said there was a music room where students learned the music and all that stuff so you added or you mixed past and present which should not be the case all right so we'll try to improve on that which would be really really good effort for you okay uh of course you will need to add some vocabulary also apart from the speaking but otherwise uh ideas were good so you had a little idea but you'll have to elaborate so for example the same thing thing that i said in the beginning uh when i just asked you the question uh that do you like music okay so you said yes i like music again change it okay so definitely music is something that everyone likes and i'm no exception okay so it means that everyone likes music and i also like the music okay so it is just another way of saying it so guys you can always do this uh, you have if you have something uh, an activity which is quite universal so for example sports uh, or if it is music or, or if it is singing or dancing most of the people like it right so you can always say it um well they of course everyone likes music or everyone likes so and so activity and i'm no no exception to that so i am not uh, you know an alien who don't like music okay so you can just say i'm not no exception to that which would be always a good case to say okay but overall it was a good effort well done well uh, you have put everything uh, in i would say 
a rosary, a beads, uh, a string of beads, which is a good thing. Just try to work on your vocabulary and your grammar. Okay, that would be really, really, really helpful to you. Okay. okay, but well done. Okay, so I hope uh, it is Nuyan. It's, it's, I don't want to say your name wrong. It's Truyan. Can you, is it, is it Truyan or it's yes. Truan? That train. Truan? Yeah. Okay, Truan. Okay, so Truan, can we just start with the speaking with you? Yes. All righty. Okay. So, Trun, do you have a pet? Uh, no, I don't have a pet here because I live in a in, uh, apartment and I usually um, when go, I usually go to work so I can um, feed the a pet. Okay. Uh, do you like to sh do shopping? Yes, I love shopping, uh, especially with my uh, friends. Um, we enjoy shopping together, and um, she she can give me an idea or uh, some advice what I put on myself. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite shop, Tren? Which is your favorite shop? My favorite shop. Uh, my, I don't have any favorite shop. Sometimes I go to the central and I uh, show any clothes that I like or sometimes I also buy online. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well done. Um, uh, as you just said that you like to go with your friends for shopping, um, do you think it is always good to shop with people or do you think it is good to shop alone? I think it's better to shop with uh, people because they can get you some advice about what is suitable for you and they tell you uh, like if your friend they will tell you the truth that is suitable for you or that is not and so you can make a better choice well done do you think Men and women have different opinions about shopping. Yeah, uh, of course, because uh, women have like different um, option to choose to choose to choose their clothes because women um, accept uh, winners casual clothes we also need dress for party um uh, some kind of clothes for sport and uh, shoe and handbags everything that men uh, don't have in their life mm -hmm. well done well done okay so uh all right so Truen, you were really really good with your speaking well done good on you. What I really like, the question that I really liked and which really impressed me, it can happen, happen with the examiner also. So when I just said to you, what's your favorite shop? So anybody would be saying, ah, oh, this is my favorite shop. That is my, you took it to the next level. You just said, I don't have any favorite shop, but I shop from this and this and this, which is a very good thing. So guys, this, this is something that is really, really important. So if you are out of ideas, you can talk about something completely different or something completely opposite, okay? So like I said, if you have a favorite shop and she said, no, we don't, which is a good thing, okay? So, which was a very, very good thing and it was pretty impressive, okay? I, there are very seldom students who think like this and you're one of them, which is amazing. And also, uh, I would say that you need to, of course, add vocabulary to your speaking you'll have to try to complete your sentences. Sometimes you 
at the end you just leave the sentence incomplete or i mean it is just in your in your mouth but it is not coming out okay so and you, then you say uh you know you know something like that and you just conclude it very vaguely i want you to give a very clear crystal clear conclusion to your questions okay to your answers sorry okay i hope the things are clear but i really want you to add vocabulary and clarity in your conclusion all right i hope uh, that is clear with everyone uh haley have we done speaking with you Oh, sorry, teacher, I'm driving. Can I just listen? I'm so yes, sorry. Yes, yes, no worries, darling, no worries. That's okay. All right. So, guys, I'm just going to share my screen with you. And I would really, really like if you guys... No worries, guys. No worries, Trent. No worries. Okay. So, I'm just going to share my screen with you, which will have two cue cards. Like it's a Word, Word document, MS Word document. And you can prepare either of it. Just prepare one would be fine. All right. Just make sure uh, when I ask you, just tell me which one you have prepared and we can talk about it. Everyone should prepare except Haley. But we can't take risks. She's driving. Okay. So just prepare any one of it. And after one minute, I'll just unmute myself uh, and we will start with Andrea. Yes, Andrea, are you ready? All right, sorry, what's on mute? No worries, no worries. Are you ready, darling? Yeah. Okay, so which so one do you want me to ask you? Like, would you like to talk about piece of art or do you want to talk about the book? um the book okay um i will be timing it okay so that i can give you the proper feedback all right and yep so i'm just taking notes just start whenever you're ready okay um, recently in the in the pandemic i tried to watch a lot of series and also i tried to read some books, and one of them is um, a very old drama called Anne with an E. It's a Canadian novel based on a girl who was in an orphan, and some siblings adopt her for the works in they had to they need to do in the farm. So this book is basically when the the girl meets that sibling they are all people and they used to get very involved with her 
and they finally adopt adopt her. Um, I lie because uh, Anne was a very young girl of 13 years old, but he has very things. Uh, I mean, she had um, her things very clear how to front the world, how to be very fair with the classmates, with all people. Um, also, I like because she has a love story with a classmate that has a similar story. He lost um, his father. So they, they meet together with a currency and they complement. And at the end of the story, they move to different city to continue with the study. And Annie continue with the support of the sibling. They are still getting older than, than before. So it's a very lovely story to see because I, it, is, it is based on the 18th century, but still you can compare with the issues happening in this century and it's still the same, this equality in girls and boys and poverty. So it's a very good novel to, to read. All right, very well done. So good efforts. Very well done, Andrea. Okay, now a few things. Darling, mm -hmm. you said it, everything was pretty well. Now, a few things. Uh, when you started, you started it pretty well that during pandemic I've done this and this. And here, a specific word, I have heard a lot of people pronouncing it wrong, okay, which is I watched a lot of series, not serious, series, okay, right. so I watched a lot of or I saw a lot of series, web series, something like that, very well done, so, uh, so you, the ideas were clear, you explained it very well, you answered all the questions, you talked about what kind of book it is, okay, so guys with the books and with the music, you can always use a word yawner. Yawner is called a category of a specific type of books. So oh, for okay. books, it is it can be fiction. It was a fiction book, which mm -hmm. is imaginary, non-fiction, which is non-imaginary. Okay. So you can just talk about self-help books. A lot of fictions are there for the books. Okay. So which is a good vocabulary to use with the books. Okay. Then you said they complement and you forget to say each other. Okay, so it should be they complement each other. So always use complement with it. Okay, also, uh, what was also good, you said that uh, this is this was based on now, just see you said this is based on something in 18th century, the word or the tenses should be was not is. Okay, so just make uh -huh. sure that you are clear with the tenses. Then you always talk about uh, when you said that it is still uh, like in this century also, it is valid. So instead of this, okay. you can just say that I can, we, you like people can still resonate with the story uh -huh. in this century also. Okay, so it means it okay. is still valid. Or you can just see, uh, say that uh, people can still... Uh, think about this thing running in the present okay so it is uh, currently the present situation also although it was in the past there is no word as disequality the word is inequality okay so you are equal or inequality mm -hmm. okay unequal or inequality okay but rest everything was good you 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 need to work on be a little careful uh, always have a planning when you're planning always write down the ideas and the sequence in which you are to talk about those ideas okay also okay. Uh, you can do while you're practicing write down the words that you want to use with it okay so that you don't forget those words mm -hmm. all right but very well done good efforts good on thank you all righty so let me have Elena. Elena, can you do the next one for me? Any one of these? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, I, I can to also um, describe in a 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please start. Um, so I like reading a lot. Uh, and recently I just finished one book uh, about uh, Second Great War uh, as uh, it is uh, the most interesting um, a subject for me. Uh, I like history as well. So um, uh, the book uh, uh, called uh, Tragedy, sorry, Tragedy of Belarus. Um, I, I, I'm from Belarus, and that's why uh, also I was one. I was wondering um, to read uh, this book. Sorry, I. <laughs> I I'm just nervous. Um, so, yeah, uh, this book describes uh, life uh, of one uh, family uh, back then. Uh, they were from a small uh, town close to uh, Polish border. Uh, and um, when uh, the, uh, the war started, they uh, were forced to uh, move uh, out and uh, they were just... Um, trying to save their life. Uh, this family were Jewish, and uh, as we know, uh, it was uh, one of uh, the most, um, uh, sorry, can, can I please start later? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's completely fine. I totally understand your confusion, but just take care that in exam, you won't get any second chances, okay? So I totally yeah. understand you can be confused. You can feel like that, okay, I'm not prepared. That's completely fine and that's completely natural. But we are preparing for exam. So we should be 100% prepared whenever anybody asks us to talk, okay? Okay, I think it's better just to prepare uh... Uh, one um, description of one book, yeah, uh, that we ever read, and then just go ahead. This. That's all right. That's completely fine. Okay, no worries. Okay. okay. No, no, and don't be sorry, please. That's not you. That's okay. All right, Kritika, please start with any cue card of your choice. Uh, I want to talk about book. Mm -hmm. uh, there are there are a lot of books I can talk about, as I love reading the books. But today I'm going to talk about uh, At Home. It is a private life of an author called Bill. It is a factual book about many different subjects, uh, but I really like a collection of information in this book as it is related to our private lives and past and present. Uh, the, the book is mainly about things that have been included in our home. Uh, the author, uh, in the first part, the author talked about the history of everything in our home. And each chapter in the book covers the history of a particular room. Uh, for example, the chapter on the kitchen, and it is talk about the water, electricity, uh, gas cooking, utensils and so on and further it describes about bathroom which looks like at the history of uh, sanitation plumbing uh, further book contains more interesting information regarding the living area uh, as to the kind of people who love history uh, they should read that book as they enjoy learning a lot of uh, interesting things about the different rooms. And it is moreover, it's a good book because uh, you don't have to follow a story and it just based on um, life, um, mm -hmm. based on a life life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like this book because I learned such I learned a, such a huge amount of information around my home. Uh, now I'm looking, I'm started looking my home in a different way. Mm -hmm. And I just appreciate for this in a short space of time and how they talk about architecture, technology, 
lightning uh, things which we have okay. usually are using in the past and all right so you have added good amount of ideas your flow of ideas was also good so which is a good thing all right so you had a lot of words which were topic specific so which was the requirement okay so which is a good thing very well done on vocabulary i would say this time so it was relevant to the topic um however some words like you said it was about life of a person okay so what are what are such books called do you know that uh, fiction books mm -hmm. they are called biographies biography if it is about someone it is called auto uh, it is called biography if suppose i am writing about my own life it would be autobiography okay so just make sure that you no such of course i have no doubt you would be knowing this just make sure to use these words all right biography autobiography fiction non fiction so i've told you a few um which is a good thing to use apart from that you had added some ideas from the book you just talked about different aspects good on you but still i would just uh, caution you about having a little more sense of past and present when you're talking so for example when you were saying that it has compelled me or uh, now i see my hometown in in some other light or maybe my perspective towards my hometown has changed okay so just try to make sure that you speak it in such a manner that your past tense looks or sounds like past tense okay it should not be present mixed with past that that will be more confusing and will make you lose marks it is definitely a recommended thing to add more than one tenses in a sentence so for example you can just say earlier i thought my hometown was this or the town where i grew up was this but now after reading the book so that was the past tense okay and now you are shifting to the present tense and but now after reading the book my perspective towards my hometown has changed a lot okay or there has been a sea change in the perspective that i now have towards my hometown all right so you can add it like this just make sure don't make it so complex uh keep it simple so that it's easy for you to follow okay. i hope that helped you did you get uh, kritika did you get what i was trying yeah, to I tell you yeah okay beautiful if you have any questions feel free to ask okay so do not just listen to me just ask me the questions if you're not clear but well okay. done okay overall it was a good effort all righty um Regina, can we start with you for the next one? All prepared. Rajna, are you able to hear me? Oh, yes. Yeah, please. Would you like to try? Would you like to start with it? Uh, yeah. Okay, please go. Feel free. Mm. Mm. Book. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a lot of book. I like, uh, I like read, but today I will talk about the, uh, the book I recently read, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, Genghis Khan, Khan, and the book is, uh, is talk about uh, a story of um, Genghis Khan's childhood. It's very uh, famous people in, in China. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, he is a brown, uh, he is born in the war mm -hmm. and uh, the book 
and uh, uh, he is a uh, very smart and uh, um, okay all right that's completely fine that's completely fine okay so so you tried it which is a very well done very good effort okay just make sure the, your ideas because you had a lot of preparation time a lot of people spoke before you you in exam you would get only one minute so make sure that you prepare in such a manner that your flow of ideas in is uninterrupted okay but well done i would say guys most of you no uh, i would i wouldn't say all of you but most of you have missed the question what sort of people would enjoy reading this book okay so question number 3 you always all all of you are talking about what kind of book it is all of you are talking about what it is about but you are also talking about why you like that book but this part most of you are missing so i don't want you to miss any questions in the exam okay uh, but well done good efforts rajana don't worry we will improve gradually okay uh, we will make sure that you are catered for and we will make sure that uh, whenever you have a class uh you can ask the questions if you're not sure about okay you can ask the questions about the vocabulary about the grammar or the sentences okay but very well done good efforts okay have confidence guys all of you you're doing pretty well okay now let's see what troyen has to say hi yes troyen which one uh, would you like to do i would like to talk about a book yes please uh, there are a lot of books that I can talk about because I love readings. But today I will talk about uh, a book I have recently read. It called The Countryside Girl. Um, I love reading novel. Uh, the most recently book that I have read is about the life of a girl in the countryside. Uh, she went to work in a big city and get bullied by people um, because she come from a poor country. Um, then after 10 years, she was successful and um, through that, if we put in a park, we could be Sorry, you didn't hear me. No, no, no. I heard. I heard a lot of it. Don't worry. So you just went mute just right now. Um, you were doing it pretty well. I know you were talking about someone who came from a poor country and they were discriminated. So you were doing it good. Pretty well. Okay. I hope uh, because Kritika's mic went unmute so it got a little disturbance there okay so but well done good efforts okay so guys you are doing pretty well have confidence have faith in yourself everyone is doing very very well okay uh with true um of course for, for for the part that i heard it was pretty well you have organized your ideas you know what you were talking about but of course you got interrupted in between and you couldn't complete it completely fine but uh, just make sure again have a little vocabulary uh, some added vocabulary so for example you use the words they the person was treated unequally or uh, the person was not treated equally or he was discriminated against Okay, so such vocabulary, such words uh, would really, really yeah. help you. So, but you did it very well. I like the organization of your ideas. You were clear and you knew what you were talking about, which is something that we always look for as an examiner. Okay, so good efforts. Good on you guys. Um, that's pretty much it from my side, guys, because we will be running out of time. Just a quick question. Anyone who feels like asking me something? Um, and how we can work with the like the tenses because when we are speaking 
just get confused like what to say and how to say it. I totally understand. Okay. So whenever you are talking about anything that has happened in the past, try to use the words like was, had, have, uh, were, these other things. Okay. Whenever you're talking about present, you know, it should be is most of the times. Okay. And whenever you're talking about future, it would be, will be, would be, should be, would, would, will, should. Okay. So such, see, these are small changes that you can make. So even when you're talking in to someone, suppose uh, you're talking to me or you're talking to your friend on phone in English, try to inculcate those things. If you're talking about, oh, I was doing this thing, try to add those uh prepositions into that was were is word should okay and uh, sometimes when you are practicing speaking record yourself and then see whatever you are doing is it correct or not okay yeah. because when you're talking you are not conscious but when you uh, it's coming from the back of your mind but when you uh, listen to yourself then you know more of your mistakes okay all right so that has been a productive session guys well done good efforts all credit goes to you and your efforts i hope haley drives safe and that's pretty much it from my side have a good day ahead all of you thank you so much for today enjoy yourself guys bye bye bye